When nights are still freezing, but the days begin to warm in late winter, it's time for one of our favorite projects. Our property blessed us with dozens of sugar maple trees. We split wood all year long and then eagerly watch the weather for perfect conditions to get the sap flowing. We have a modest operation, hanging around a dozen buckets for the season. For our sugar needs, it's enough. We've used a few different designs of taps, or spiles, and have now settled on these heavy gauge stainless spiles that can be sanitized and reused every year. They require a much smaller hole and so are gentler on our trees. You want to drill straight in, not at an angle. Angled holes damage more of the sapwood than necessary and don't help it. If conditions are right, you'll see sap flowing immediately after drilling. I've found that my spiles tell me when they're in far enough. I can hear the difference when they're seated properly. Metal buckets are more expensive than some modern options, but I can't get enough of the sound they make. If you use buckets though, you're going to need lids to keep dirt, twigs, and rain or snow out. Nobody wants to boil off extra water later. You can definitely start small. We hung just four buckets on our first season and grew from there. We rotate trees so we don't overly stress any individual maples. Once we finish tapping, we get into a routine of emptying our buckets twice a day or more and get ready to start boiling soon. <laughs> <laughs> 